In this video, we're gonna show you how you can set up your Icon T10 scan tool from Harbor Freight. We're also gonna give you our first impressions on using the software that actually allows you to update the scan tool and register it for the first time. If you wanna see more content, be sure to smash that subscribe button to see all the review content that we'll have coming out as well as all the different vehicles we diagnose using the Icon T10. So the first thing that we're gonna do for the initial setup is we're just gonna go ahead and turn the device on. Now, it comes with a very quick paper user manual. And what I really like about this is that it just is digital. So as the icon team at Harbor Freight, which is an internal team now, updates any of the procedures, you don't need to get a new paper manual. Everything's online. And with this large 10 inch display, it's going to be fairly easy to read. Now I pressed the power button, it didn't start. So I'm gonna press and hold and see if I just needed to give it a little bit more juice. There we go. So it just started. And I can see here that I have my activation code and this is private and confidential. So hopefully the guy, Jason, who edits all of our content has blurred this stuff out. So you don't know my serial number or my private and confidential number. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, just tearing on the perforated edges while the icon boots up. Now, a larger scan tool like this does take a little bit of time to boot up. And I think that the average is about one minute for boot up time. Anything that takes longer than one minute, I kind of get a little bit butthurt about, but that's okay because most of the time, if you have a docking station, you can leave this thing powered up from the start of the day all the way until the end of the day. So at this point here, what I'll do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the icon, which is going to bring us up here. And as you can see, it looks just like the T8 does on the home screen, except where it has a battery system test and the inspection camera, as well as a cool little toolbox icon here. So it should give us the opportunity to do an update. And I'm wondering if I click update, if it will tell me that I need to register first. It does. So I'm gonna just go right to register and I'm gonna make a username and password. So don't look anymore. All right, so the first thing you're supposed to do, apparently, before you start registering your scan tool is connect it to the internet, which makes sense. If you're going to update, you'd probably do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press and hold on this. And this is clearly a Android style tablet. And I'll just go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi and get set up on one of the networks that we have here in the shop. I'll do Team Revit and don't look at our password. Now that we've obtained the IP address, and we're connected to the internet, I'm gonna press the tab page at the bottom of the screen and swipe right back over so that we can get our CAPTCHA screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click refresh and I have my code. I'm not a robot. I did not read the service agreement or privacy policy, but that's all I can do. Now it's just asking me to do the product serial number Oh, now I get to put in all of the company details. So I'll put in our shop name as Revit Auto. And because this is the Damascus location, I'm gonna put the dash in there and put in Damascus. Our address, if anyone wants to come over, you can Google it. And I'm assuming that it wants all this information for when you are generating reports and you're gonna email those over. The touchscreen is very responsive and it's super fast and not laggy, which I thoroughly enjoy. And they put United States at the top for us, which makes it really easy. Let's see if we can get this to work. And wow, it even wants our company website. They are doing a good job here at getting all of your information. Now, whether they're gonna be using it for the powers of good or evil, I won't know. But like I said, I think that this is all for those pre and post scans that insurance companies like. Now we don't have a fax, but what I can do here for the emails, I'm just gonna do info at revit.com. Wow, it even has our hours. All right, well, we are open. We actually open at eight and we close at five. Now those are our standard hours, Monday through Friday. So I guess I'm gonna have to go through and edit each day individually, which would have been great if I could just select apply all, but instead of complaining, I'm just gonna do this because maybe you don't have the same hours every day. Maybe you figured out a way to only work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and the rest of the time you're out enjoying your life. I haven't figured out that secret yet. We're gonna be fast forwarding through here. Wow, super sensitive touch there because I could drag this thing as I wanted and you can see here as the numbers shake down, if I push on something in between, we can get really exact, so that's pretty cool. 
and I'm gonna hit save. Your pair shop information is saved. Icon has been fully activated. Your two year diagnostic code assist subscription starts from today. Do you want to download the new software? Of course. The Icon app update is here. Do you want to update now? An app restart is required. So we'll just go ahead and click now. And it looks like it's upgrading the APK files, which is great, which is just your application. And it seems like it's working pretty quickly, which is awesome because sometimes our internet is not the best. Do you want to install an update to this built-in application? Existing down below, so I'm just gonna click install. And it's gonna restart our application, which it told us initially. And we'll go ahead and click open. What a nice logo. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and update our scan tool. Let's go to our toolbox and let's go to update. Now, whenever I'm updating a scan tool, I want everyone to know that I don't actually update every single piece. As you can see here, it's asking us to download the Audi, the BMW, the Chrysler, the Citroen. I actually don't want to update all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and the vehicles that I'm not going to be working on, I'm gonna remove. So if I find a vehicle that's here that I'm not gonna be actually servicing, I'll go ahead and remove it so that I don't have any added bloat software, which is going to cause my scan tool to operate more slowly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go through. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna download everything and see how well this thing does when it's fully loaded down so that in the review video, we can see and load test it as hard as possible. But if you're using this for yourself, be sure to only install and update what you're actually going to use because it is going to cause additional storage that you will not likely ever use. And again, for testing purposes, we're gonna go ahead and just let everything get downloaded and resume. As you can see here, we've got our cameraman, Jamie, who's getting super famous on this video. And it shows here it has 37 upgradable units, 32 have been selected, three are currently downloaded, five have already been completed and installed. There's been zero errors and we are 62% complete. It also shows us up here in the right-hand corner that our expiration date is for two years from now. And today is August 16th, 2026. So yes, we actually got this scan tool three days before its official release. And that is because Harbor Freight sent this unit to us for some testing. So now that it's said that we have successfully installed the updates, I'm gonna go ahead and start using the little pen stylus here so I stop putting smudge marks on. So now it asks if we want to enter the diagnostic pack, the diagnostic app. I'm gonna actually press cancel and I'm gonna go back to our toolbox here. I'm gonna go back to our update and I'm gonna hit refresh. And the reason I like to do this is you never really know if it's fully up to date until you have gone through and done this. I will also close out of the application and retest. Um, so we'll just go right back to the toolbox, check for an update. And now we can confirm that we are fully up to date because there is nothing for us to go through. Everything has been completed and you see on the upper left hand corner, it says up to date. So now we can go ahead and test this on our first vehicle. So if you wanna see that, be sure to smash the like and subscribe button so you can be up to date with all the review content that we put out on the Icon T10. Thank you.